I am in the middle of the Amazon jungle, and for the next 48 hours, I am trying to catch as many species as possible. But to make this challenge harder, there's a few rules. Rule number one, I must use a traditional rod or reel to catch the fish. No nets, cast nets, fish traps, or any other method is allowed. Rule number two, I'm not allowed to use any live bait, artificial lures only. Rule number three, I must abandon all of my lures that I brought for this 48 hour period. I'm only allowed to use the contents of these two mystery tackle boxes. Along with this challenge, we will be attempting the world's first double MTB slam in the Amazon jungle. The goal is as follows, catch a fish on every single bait inside of these boxes, catch as many species as possible, and catch at least one trophy peacock bass weighing over 10 pounds. Now, let's bust open these boxes and let's see the baits that we're fishing with. Inside of our first box, we have a spook, a minnow, another jerk bait, a smaller Yozuri spook, some four inch bio spawns, 10,000 fish swimmer shads. We have some flukes, jig heads, and some hooks. In box number two, we have a popper, small jerk bait, swim baits, we have some curly tails, we have some rat tails, and last but not least, some jig heads and some hooks. And inside every mystery tackle box is your what's inside card, which is the bait and the price so you see exactly what you're getting for your money. If you wanna get one of these beautiful boxes shipped to your front door every single month, sign up with code RyanIZQ and get $10 off your first box. Now, let's hop in the boat and complete the world's first Amazon Jungle Double Mystery Tackle Box Slam. Let's go. Okay, boy grind day. Oh, the swim bait. All right, guys, we made it to the first lagoon of the challenge. Now, I'm gonna pick a bait that I think is gonna be easy and we're gonna work our way up. So, I'm gonna start out with, let's go for this Matrix Minnow here. It actually looks very nice. Blue, yellow, and uh, purple back. Looks like it dives like a, like pretty shallow. And there we have it. Our first bait of the challenge. Trix Minnow, MTB Slam, first lure. Oh, very, it's a very shallow bait. Right under the surface. Very, very shallow. Okay, you gotta work it very slowly, it looks like. Oh, oh, I got him. Yes, little pintalapa. Smoke that. There we go. First fish of the MTB Slam. First bait checked off. A juvenile pintalapa peacock bass. Bait number one knocked off the challenge of the MTB Slam. We got ourselves our first fish of the day, a juvenile pintalapa these guys are absolutely aggressive and fight super hard in their size. They, they mainly hang out in the main river, so they fight a lot harder than these fish held up in lagoons. But nonetheless, it is our first peacock bass of the challenge. Let's go ahead and release her. She goes. Bait number one knocked off the list, baby, very early on. Let's go for our second bait of the challenge. Let's see what we got in this box. Some Z-Man curly tails and some jig heads. Elephants eat peanuts. Something really cool about these Z-Man baits, they stretch so far. So that is gonna be our swap out from the Matrix Minnow, moving on to bait number two, which is Jig Head and Curly Tail Minnow by Z-Man. Go ahead and put that on the clip, and she's ready to fish. Pavon mas grande en el laguno? En esta, de 18. 18, so 18 pound peacock, is the biggest and um, 
Chiki also said that they caught it last week. So there are some fresh big fish in here. That is for sure. And they will hit some small solid plastics, no doubt. Let's look at this, Adrian. Mm -hmm. That looks like literally what they're feeding on, on the shoreline. Oh, there it is. Oh my gosh, what is this? New species. Oh no! What was that? Oh, well, we almost had our first catch on the Z-Man, man. We've been throwing it for about 30 minutes. And that was a very cool fish. I'll pop a picture of it on the screen. This is what it looks like if we don't get another one. But man, I didn't know if I had a stick or if I had a little, little tiny fish. And yes, it was indeed a little tiny fish. Truth be told, I threw that bait for a solid hour after the last fish shook the jig. And as we were exiting the lagoon to head to the next spot, something insane happened. Oh sh Don't move, don't move, don't move, don't move. Double digit peacock, double digit peacock, double digit peacock. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Double digit peacock, double digit peacock. Oh my god, they were spawning. Oh. Grande. Grande. I put the bait right in their face. It's okay. We'll find more. It is time to make a bait switch. We're entering a new lagoon, and at the end of this lagoon, there's a crystal clear tiny creek. We're gonna bring that bait back when we get there. But for now, we're gonna switch over to, let's go for the four inch bio spawn. Slide it up, and now all we need to do is twist the swim bait around the hook. One, two, boom. Screw lock jig head. This swim bait isn't going anywhere. Looks super, super good for the lagoon. Time to toss the swim bait around, see what happens. There it is. Fish on on the swim bait. Oh yes, new species. New species, <gasps> new species. <gasps> oh, the dolphin tried to eat it. The dolphin is trying to eat the peacock. Oh no, the dolphin tried to eat the peacock. Oh my gosh. That was like my third cast with the swim bait. Oh, the, no, 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 the dolphin, he just cast, ate the peacock. Cast. No, the dolphin ate the peacock, Adrian. That was a dolphin eating the peacock. Oh my goodness. I would count that as a catch, but we're gonna get a fish in my hands on this one bait. Oh yeah. Unfortunately, the dolphins, one of the only predators of the peacock. My only predator is these damn sticks. <laughs> <laughs> the morning turned to the afternoon and the sun was heating us like a rotisserie chicken. After hours of casting, all I had to show for it was a tiny peacock, a few strikes, and a lot of snags. But with the challenge in mind, I had to keep grinding, and finally, it seemed that our luck was starting to change. No. Oh. oh my gosh, I'm in it, I'm in it, I'm in it, I'm in it. I got him on the stick. He's stuck on the stick, I got him off. Yes. Come here, no dolphins. Get in the boat. Oh, nice butterfly. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, they're going crazy over there. Beautiful butterfly peacock bass. Knocked off the list on the bio spawn swim bait. Absolutely beautiful. We found a bunch of them feeding. I cast it over the stick and he hit it right on the stick. I had to flip him over. Such a beautiful fish. Let's release him and get some more. Oh Beautiful.
Is this gonna be like 10 minutes? Okay. Get past so. Yeah, I know, that's not arowana, but there was five arowanas that from that way. Oh, I had one, I had one, I had one. What is this right here? Oh, it's one of those things that I caught. The, 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 start to the P. Look, 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 look. Oh, Mataguaru, Mataguaru, Mataguaru. I'm rolling on the GoPro. I'm rolling on the GoPro. Very rare fish right here, guys. Got him. No. Lost the Mataguaru. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, this is multi-species heaven, man. Oh, oh, they're chasing it. There's peacocks, 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 peacock frenzy. Did you see those little tiny peacocks? Peacock frenzy, guys. No, no, these are peacocks. Look at the peacocks. Our exploratory creek mission was to no avail. Although it was refreshing to get out of the boat and explore on foot, it seemed our lures were just a little too big for the juvenile jungle fish to eat. At this point, the brutal heat and humidity was taking its toll on us and it was time to eat and recharge for the second half of the fishing session. But on the way out of the lagoon, there it is. Coming at me fast. As soon as I hit the wall. Oh, good fish. Nice pavone. Not a bad one. Oh no, the dolphin. Oh no, the dolphin. No, no, the dolphin. Get in the boat. Yes. Oh. Yes. Oh my goodness. That's a nice butterfly. Guys, this is another butterfly. The dolphin tried to eat it and we just got him in the boat just in time. Smash the spinner bait. Sorry, smash the swim bait. Bait number three checked off the list. They're getting bigger. Oh my goodness, the dolphin is right there looking at this peacock. So we're gonna send this fish back so it doesn't get eaten by a dolphin. Three, two, one, survive buddy. All right guys, we just stopped for lunch. We pulled the boat up on the beach right here and we just were walking through the woods and we see a pond. It's not a lagoon, it's literally, I mean, I could punt a football across this little body of water here. And um, we're gonna try a topwater bait in there. So we're gonna try the S-Pop right there, one of our MTB baits. So apparently when it touches water, it has a red flashing light in it. Oh yeah, look at that. There's a light right there inside of this bait. It flashes red and apparently it triggers more strikes. So we're gonna see if that is true or if that is false. I like to tie a figure eight loop knot. You basically make it like an overhand knot twice. You make a little eight right there. You go through the top, pull it very, very close to the, to the eye of the hook. And then you just make a uni knot, wrap it around twice. One and two, pull it twice, don't tell my dentist, and boom. Beautiful, strong loop knot. And there we have it, our ballista popper. We're gonna walk through the jungle to this small little pond and we're gonna see if we can knock this bait off the list. All right, it is a little pond, but I took a little walk down here, just filming with my GoPro, and uh, we actually caught a small butterfly peacock. Oh, there it is. Oh, yes. Yes. On the Yozuri from the box. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Look how beautiful. He took the Ozuri. Wait, 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 I hear it, I hear it. I hear it. Ah, oh, that's so unfortunate.
there it is. What do we have here? Not a pavone. Oh, oh, whoa, this is one of those crazy needle fish. Oh my gosh, this is a, a new species for me. Does he have teeth? Oh my goodness. Look at this crazy fish. It looks like a saltwater needle fish. Wow, and the orange nose right there. That is insane. If you zoom in on his mouth, he has like hundreds of microscopic little teeth. Hundreds of teeth. That is a crazy new species. When we get back to everybody, we'll find out what type of fish it is. And just like that, he's gone. That was so cool. And if you check this out, the bait is flashing. If you look underneath of it, it's flashing red. New species, very, very cool. That is, I believe, our third species of the challenge. I took some more casts with the popper, but it seemed the fish had wisened up to my bait. So we headed back to the boat to check out some new water. And on the way back, I spotted a very cool creature. So we just caught this South American turtle species. Its head is, looks just like a leaf. And what they do is they open their mouth on the bottom and they have a very pink tongue and they wiggle their tongue like this and they attract the fish all the way and then they eat it. I just was walking over here and I saw his turtle shell dug in to the sand. And I was like, this is some sort of turtle. And this is so crazy. All right, guys, we're fishing our second to last soft plastic bait. This is the 10,000 fish shimmer swimmer, but we're running through these soft plastic baits today and almost all the way done with our top water. So we're doing very, very well. Now all we need is some big fish, which keep watching this video, guys. We're gonna get a big fish. That swim bait looks so nice. Now you can see why they call it shimmer swimmer. Put that right on. Jake head. That's a beautiful bait if I've ever seen one. Let's catch a fish. So, we're actually using Cheeky's rod on my reel, which this is a uh, bay casting rod, which we've made into a spinning rod. It's actually a very nice rod. Gracias por vara. De nada. Muy bien. Con gusto. Con gusto. Guys, man, this has been such an awesome trip. So now, we're fishing the main river, we're fishing some rocks. And I really think this swim is gonna perform. I'm just gonna bounce along the bottom. I think we're gonna find something. We've had, we've, there it is. Oh no. Oh, we got it again. First cast with the shimmer swimmer. Bouncing on the bottom. Oh, it's an electrical. Electrical has followers. Yes, first cast on the shimmer swimmer. New species for the challenge. This is an electrical peacock bass. This is a completely different species. As you can see, their lateral line runs down and meets their bars. Very, very beautiful fish. Reds, greens, blues, such a cool fishery. Literally, first freaking cast with the swim bait. Bouncing it on the bottom, thumped it. He had a bunch of followers with him too. One more look at him. That is an absolute beauty. On the rock piles. Shimmer swimmer knocked off the list, but we're gonna try to catch it a little bit more because that was literally the first cast. All right guys, sun is setting. And we have been trying to catch a fish on this bait. I think this is probably the most challenging one of the day. But, man, tomorrow we have a awesome fishing day, guys. We're going for some grand day pavone. Today was a numbers day, trying to get new species, and we've accomplished that. But it would be nice to knock out at least one more bait before we get back to camp. That was a, a, a Matabueno. Mataguaro. Mataguaro. <laughs> that was a Mataguaro, huh? Right on the bank. Oh my God, the bank is so deep over there. Oh. You had one? I let it. Yep. Yes. Get in the boat, no! Get, in the, get out of here. I let it sink all the way to the bottom. 
Mata Venta? Mata Buena? It was a peacock. It was a peacock. These rat tails are getting destroyed here in the deep water, letting it sink all the way to the bottom. Let's jake slowly. Oh. Oh my gosh. Fish on, fish on. What the heck? What the heck is that? What is that? Oh my gosh. Dude, 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 dude. Oh! Is this a payara? Small payara. Oh my. This is rare. This is such a rare fish. Oh my goodness, guys. A little payara. This is a different species on the dragon tail. That is so cool. So guys, we're fishing the Rio Tomo and these payaras are not common here. What a beautiful, beautiful fish. He actually matches the bait very, very well. Oh my gosh, a payara and the MTB slam on the dragon tail. I did not expect that. We're gonna send this bait down there. That is such a rare fish for this river we're fishing. That's insane. Every single drop on the bottom we're getting bit. Let's send it back out there. I'll try them. I want to send this thing, I want to try to see what's biting this for one second. Oh my gosh. Hey look, it's just getting, there it is. What do we have? Oh my gosh, it's another Pyara. Another Pyara. Look at that. That's what's hit that. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, so this is a different species. Yes, yes. Oh my gosh. All of these payara down deep on the dragon tail. Look how cool that is. That is the smallest payara I've ever caught. We're getting hit every single drop down there. Oh, we found out this is a payara slayer. Every drop down there, that's what that's what's hitting it. All oh, there, there's so many payara down there. With day one in the books, I was feeling good with where we stay, catching over seven species and more than half the baits knocked off. However, tomorrow is our last day of fishing, and we still have to catch a giant peacock bass. Day two of the Mystery Tackle Box Challenge. All the boats at the lodge are loading up right now, and we got probably 50% of the baits knocked out. Today, we're looking for Randy Pavone. Let's get out there, let's get him. We are making our way into this lagoon. We had like a almost two hour boat ride up river and we are getting through some thick stuff right now. We have our MTB box right here covered in leaves and sticks all over the boat. We're working our way down this little creek, snaking through it hitting branches, hitting all sorts of stuff. I mean, this is what it takes to get Grande Pavone. I'm feeling a giant fish coming soon, so stay tuned guys. Be sure to get your MTB box. Let's catch some giants. So we have an adventure today. Woo! It is time to select our first lure of the day. I think I'm gonna start off with the bad fish spook. Pretty cool looking spook, I like the eyes, the X. We're gonna hook this on, and hopefully a Grande Pavone will take the bad for spook out of the MTV.
All right, guys, I've been throwing the spook for a while. No contact, but it has great action. I think that in the afternoon or a little bit later today, it's gonna work super nice. I think I'm gonna go with this one. Hardcore minnow flat, 130 floating, five and one fourth inch. We're gonna toss this out there. Looks very, very good. See how it swims. Oh, man. Look at this. Oh, yep, there it is. Good fish. There it is. Better fish, watch out. Not sure how big it is, it feels maybe grande. Oh, grande, C, 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 grande. Oh boys, we got a big one. We got a big one, we got a big one. <laughs> yes, on the MTB. Oh man. I knew this bait was gonna produce. Oh, beautiful fish, man. Oh, really? The, the real? It is the real. New species of, of peacock bass. Very, very uh, light hook. Very, very light hooks. Oh, so pretty. Oh, come on, baby. Yes! Yes! Oh my gosh, double digit real. Yes? Yes. Yes. 10 pounds. Look at that mystery tackle box. Flat minnow right there, man. Beautiful. New species of peacock. And it's a real. Look at the hump on its head. This is a beautiful male. We guys, we, we just completed catching our big fish for the MTB, and we just started. I'm sure we're gonna get bigger today, but what a beautiful, green, absolutely gorgeous fish. Okay. So, we have a beautiful male real peacock bass, and we have five different species of peacocks in this river system that we're fishing. And this is the last one that I needed. I've officially caught every single species of peacock bass on this trip. Something very cool about this fish, if you look at her forehead, she's got that big horn. That means that this is a male fish. So the males have the hump and the females do not. But man, such a beautiful fish. She flopped out of my hands when we were taking photos, but such a beautiful fish. Bite is on. We're gonna get back in the boat, keep throwing that jerk bait out of the bank. I think we're gonna get some bigger fish. Beautiful way to start the morning. First fish. Chiqui, gracias mi amigo. De nada. Tomas, gracias. Oh, you're welcome. Stunning fish, guys. Great way to start the morning. And continue the MTB slam. Back at it again with the hardcore minnow, man. That's the best part of the level for fishing. Really? Maybe for top water. No. No? You do it. New species, butterfly. Oh my God, I just got hit. I got him, I got a fish on. I'm looking at you. Is he still on? He's still on. No way. Oh, 
I just broke off. I just broke off. Standing there looking at you, man. No way. Big one. That was big one. Yeah. That was big one. We have one more. That was quick. Quicker than I would have liked that to be. We're switching to our final hard bait of the box. This ballista, I think this is gonna produce a giant. Catch. Cheeky the boat driver, finally getting on some action this week. No bueno. Muy. Oh, I got hit on the tree. I'm hit. I'm, I got a fish on. I have a fish on. Go, 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 go. Muy grande. No way. 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 Grande. Oh my goodness. We're stuck. I cast it over the tree. Horrible cast of the popper. <sighs> we don't know if this fish is on. But I'm swimming in that. <sighs> All right, going down. How about that? Mm -hmm. Unfortunately. He got me in a stick. That was crazy. I threw the popper, horrible cast over the tree. <coughs> he annihilated it. And unfortunately, he ran into the six. That was a big fish. That was over 10. Muy grande, Pavon. But I'm gonna hop back in the boat and we're gonna keep on fishing, man. Look out for the rods. I know. That was some excitement. Wow. I wish we got to see that fish. That was a good fish. Very nice fish on top water. But she ran me to the stick. She was not hooked on the front trap. Got it snagged on the stick. Very, very big peacock bass. We're gonna keep on fishing, man. We're gonna get a big one. After losing that fish and more than half the day gone, we decided to change up our tactics. We began to troll in the deepest parts of the lagoon in hopes for new species and just maybe another shot. He's still on? The pond He's still on. No way. What? Uh, I think it's like 30 bucks. Per month and you get in one every four weeks. Yeah. But there it is. There it is. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, you have a fish on. Oh, we both have fish on. I lost the fish and then it came back and something else ate it. Do you have fish or not? I do. Oh yeah, I do have a peacock. You have a bait fish and I have a peacock. But I lost the fish and then, and then this one ate it. Pintalapa, good sign on the troll. 
take it. Oh yeah. Beautiful. So this fish is loaded with black dots all over him, bumps. And those are all parasites. I've never seen a fish like that. I have no idea. Hopefully he's nice and healthy. This bait, Ballista jerk bait. Got hit a few times this morning. Finally got one to stick. Beautiful Pintalapa Pavone. Absolutely gorgeous fish right there. There she goes. Beautiful fish on the troll. We're gonna send this bait back there again and see if we can get another one. We, I mean, I had something nice on before, so I'm gonna get back after it. Beautiful. Fish. Yep. This is a new species. I'm water skiing him. Stay hooked. Oh yes, new species. Stay hooked, stay hooked. Get in the boat. Oh, he flopped off right there. Oh my goodness. Got him in the boat. What is this? So guys, we here we have a nail fish. This is an Amazonian species of fish. Peacock bass absolutely love to feed on these. Check out the orange tail. Lots of guys will bring flies on here that have orange and red tails and because a lot of the forage on here has, has that colored tail. Species number two trolling that crankbait. There he goes. Woo! Fired up. Send it back. Ooh. Oh, fish. Please. Yep. Good one. Actually good fish. There it is. Oh, what is this? Oh, new species. New species, man. Monster, Matapena. Mataguana. Wow. Oh my gosh. Another species for the MTB Slam Challenge. They almost look like a snakehead. They look like a cobia. So another Amazon species for the MTB challenge. Man, the White Reaper is taking a bunch of fish today. And uh, we have a Mataguaro here. So they are in the peacock family. And as you guys can see, this holds a false eye on the tail. A lot of fish species down here in the Amazon have this because it serves as a defense mechanism. If a fish goes to attack it, it's gonna grab the tail and the fish is gonna swim away but they have some beautiful red eyes and some very light stripes running down them. They like to hang out by rocky areas, which is exactly where we got bit. Beautiful Mataguena. Let's go ahead and put him back. Woo! Slippery. Over the last 48 hours, I challenged myself greatly as an angler. Unfortunately, he got me in a stick. I abandoned all of the baits I carefully selected to bring on this trip for random lures in my Mystery Tackle Elite boxes. I managed to catch over eight species of fish, knock out every bait in the boxes, and even caught a trophy double digit peacock bass. I've been creating YouTube videos since January 2015. And my very first sponsor on the channel was Mystery Tackle Box. Tons of cool lures that you can use. We're gonna open this box up right now and see what's inside. All right. No scissors needed. We're just gonna rip and pull. Oh my God, bro. They got some good stuff in here. Okay, so. Just now reaching 500,000 subscribers <laughs> and taking these boxes to the middle of the Amazon jungle was a surreal feeling. I highly recommend giving Mystery Tackle Box a shot. You will be introduced to new baits, techniques, and join a community full of passionate anglers. You'll have your choice of three different tiers of boxes and multiple plants. You can even tailor the boxes to a specific species or type of fishing. For the angler in your life, or even yourself, 
Mystery Tackle Box makes the perfect gift that keeps on giving at your front door every month. Become a better angler today. This holiday season, you can save an extra $10 off your first box using code RYANIZQ. A special thank you to A Float Lodge for having me and showing me a fishing adventure of a lifetime. And to Mystery Tackle Box for making this video possible. Happy holidays and keep on fishing.